Hello world, Zinger Nation. My name is John, uh, known around here as John G. Um, I'm one of many builders here at Benzinga, and I am joined by one of those fellow builders, Brian Moore. Welcome, Brian. Hey, I'm happy to be here. It's exciting. Great. Yeah, this is exciting. This is our first episode of Late Night Building at Benzinga, and I'm here uh, in the Detroit headquarters with a number of other Benzinga uh, employees or builders, like as we like to call them, uh, building away. We're a global organization uh, building all over the place. Brian, you're building in, in Tennessee, right? Yeah, Knoxville. Knoxville, Tennessee. I've been there. It's a pretty cool place. I yeah. definitely want to go there again. Uh, Brian and I actually met for the first time at our quarterly Q1 quarterly meeting, and it was, it was we hit it off pretty quick. Bonded on crypto, like I think many people in the crypto space do, and it was a, it was a, it was a good time. And we're ready to uh, build some really cool stuff today. Um, and so yeah, so we actually we've been building stuff, uh, cool stuff for a while now here at Benzinga, and there's a lot more to build. And this week is actually a really exciting week. Um, so we're looking, uh, as the title says, to build our first ERC20 smart contract uh, to launch the Zing token. And uh, this week, Brian actually launched another token. So Brian is actually the host of the Mooner Bust uh, segment, a hit show on Benzinga, uh, covering various cryptocurrencies and like the Shiba Inu craziness and, and Dogecoin ma mania, as well as a number of other cryptocurrencies covering the space. Definitely recommend checking out that show if you haven't seen it. Um, and and Brian, you wanna you wanna just like talk a little bit about what you've done this week with uh, with what you've done at building at Benzinga? Yeah, I um so I launched a DeFi token for um, Mooner Bust. And it's on the Binance Smart Chain. <clears throat> it is has a um, uh, deflationary aspect to it, to where it um, distributes to holders. It goes to a um, charity wallet, which will, you know, will announce whenever that fills up. We'll announce where that's going to go, mm -hmm. and it um, has a burn ratio. So it, it, it's pretty much one of those standard DeFi tokens. It was kind of a I tested a few different protocols out and i went with this one and it was it's pretty straightforward learning solidity took a couple days and took a little bit of um no sleep for a little bit kind of got obsessed with it yeah we but, like to build late here at benzinga yeah it, it's a lot of fun it's really cool once you actually see it on like ether scan or a bsc scan and you see your token and see your contract and all that stuff it's really really cool yeah definitely so you built this on the binance smart chain that's correct yeah Cool. And so this is one thing that I didn't, uh, Binance Smart Chain, I've heard of it for a while. didn't really, didn't, don't know too much about the details of how it technically works, but it functions pretty much the same as the, as the Ethereum network. Is that, is that correct? It just different. Yeah, different it's, chains? it's pretty much a fork. It, they're, and they're both compatible. Well, ERC 20 tokens, they're the standard, um, how the smart contracts are written are pretty much exactly like how they are on the Binance Smart Chain. Mm -hmm. You can actually use like, open zeppelin and import their libraries and have your calls as erc20 token is erc20 but deploy that onto the binance smart chain so it's it's mm -hmm. very straightforward and it's they work hand in hand and side by side they're very compatible with each other cool and so what are the advantages of, of launching on the binance smart chain um lower fees is the main advantage mm -hmm. you don't have all of um you know how you have to pay a bunch of ether in order to interact with different uh, smart contracts on Ethereum network. Mm -hmm. Binance Smart Chain, you don't have to do that as much. I mean, well, you don't have to do it like hardly at all. It, it's cents on the dollar instead of $600 to send $200 worth of something to Uniswap. Mm -hmm. You can go to PancakeSwap on the Binance Smart Chain and send, it'll cost you depending on the token, but like the fee, the actual gas would be like 14 cents to deploy mm -hmm. a smart contract. So it's, okay. um, it's, in my opinion, it's much yeah. better and it's getting a lot more popular. So I think that I've, um, so the, the Binance smart chain is a lot more centralized in the, the number of, of node operators. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So, yeah, so, um, yeah, I, I, I'm, so I'm interested in, 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 I guess, so you actually, we, you already actually launched this token, right? I think. Yeah. Yeah. And I, you, so we, we, I think you, you launched internally, was it was like two days ago? Yeah. We, we announced it on moon or bus, but we didn't make a huge deal about it. Um, and we're going to kind of 
play with how it's all going to work out and fit in. But yeah. Um, yeah, it's fully launched. It's usable. It's actually listed. Um, it's there's no liquidity in it yet, mm -hmm. but it is listed on Pancake Swap, and it's ready to go whenever we decide to pull the trigger. Yeah, I think. Are you ready to pull the trigger? Um, yes and no. <laughs> I want to see how much liquidity we can get into it, mm -hmm. but also see what else we're going to do with it. We have an, I have another coin I launched that can more function as a straightforward transfer, transferable and payable coin that mm -hmm. we can use to do different utilities. But this coin will do the same, but this one just has a few more benefits built into it. Yeah, I definitely like to learn about those benefits and hopefully we can explore some of that during the show. Um, so, yeah, so uh, I guess... Um, so I, 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 and we've talked about this a decent amount off air and I don't know, there's definitely some interesting things. Have, have you, one of the thoughts I thought we could possibly do with the, the Mooner bus token is to have people claim it during the show. So, uh, us internally, you announced it to us and, and shared it in our Slack channel and a number of people, uh, shared their, uh, their public address. So you could send them some, some Mooner bus token. So we have a little bit of distribution of it. So of thus far. Um, and oh, what do you think? What do you think about uh, allowing people to claim that token during the next uh, Moon or Bus segment? Yeah, I like that idea. We were maybe thinking about doing a a large airdrop if someone if they put their addresses in the comments and stuff like that. There's so much, so many things we can do with the token that I'm really excited for. I w maybe even just create a faucet, and if you watch the video at a certain time we activate it and you can only do it within that certain time and so to bring people back in and while mm -hmm. you watch you get rewarded kind of thing yeah definitely yeah i think that would be very interesting i don't can you can spencer is my mic okay because i have somebody saying that my i think it's my mic that might not be good i don't know can you you can hear me okay right brian yeah it sounds a lot better than earlier okay cool louder Cool. Yeah. So, so I honestly, so I, I was looking at launching our Zing token um, almost two weeks ago now, and I was looking at different ways that we can do it. I found an open source project that, that I think we could have launched it on, but um, they had, you know, it's their smart contract that they deploy to their website. Um, and I was looking and, and, and I was just looking at different ways. Just, I just wanted to understand like how these smart contracts actually function. So I get an idea of like, what are our, what are our options here? Because there's, uh, there's the ERC 20, like smart, like the base standard smart contract, but then there's all these like functionalities as a part of it that I think are, are, are interesting to explore. So I was hoping we could potentially explore some of those today mm -hmm. um, with with the Mooner Bus token that you created um, and get an idea of how we actually want to launch our Zing token. I think I have a pretty good idea now, um, but uh, we definitely want to discuss and, 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 and get this done. So uh, do you have some uh, some documentation or some uh, some stuff you can share with us? Yeah, I can. Um, we can either go through the GitHub or the actual contract on um, on uh, by the BC BSC scan. That's not the right one. I'm sorry. This one. <clears throat> so uh, I'm not quite sure exactly what how much depth you want or exactly what you know, you want to talk about, I will say like, okay, so this is on the Binance smart chain, but it has the, um, Ethereum protocol on it. Mm -hmm. So that's one way that they're both very compatible to each other. So it, um, even though it says IERC 20, it's still a BEP 20 token, which is pretty neat how that all works. Cause they're literally a forks of each other. Binance smart chain is a fork of Ethereum. So mm -hmm. it's, um, very easy to deploy. You don't. You can use Remix IDE or even VS Code to do it as long as you have Truffle. Um, mm -hmm. It's it's pretty straightforward in terms of you know you don't have to do much extra for the Binance Smart Chain than you do for the um, uh, Ethereum. You just need to connect to the the network, and if you deploy it through your MetaMask um, through your MetaMask, you can just deploy it straight to. Uh, the Binance smart chain from there instead of uh, having to rewrite the code or anything. So is it literally exactly the same code that you can deploy? Yeah. Or is there slight variations? Okay. So you're basically you can have slight, you can have different variations. So you can actually write it as a, instead of saying 
um, IERC 20, you put IB, IEB 20 or IBP 20. I don't remember exactly, but um, the protocols can be, can be changed, but it doesn't have to be to deploy it to the Binance as opposed to Ethereum. So you could still deploy it with like the <clears throat> ERC-20 uh, mm -hmm. trait or, in, or in, in, interface for to the Binance smart chain? Correct. Okay, so you could literally compile the same zip code. And then you're just changing the, the configuration of the uh, like the network, basically, that you're, you're sending the content yeah. to. Mm -hmm. You okay, just send cool. it to the Binance mainnet instead of Ethereum. And the same thing goes for um, if you were to do it on the testnet, you would send it to the Binance smart chain testnet, or you would do it through um, like Ropstein. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, yeah, but the yeah. Ethereum testnet. Yeah, I was testing a little bit on that. So that, that open source uh, uh, website that somebody built to, I, 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 I don't think I have the resources up with me right now, but somebody built to basically make it so you can plug and play right into the right into the 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 website let me see if i can find it but basically it allows you to just like enter the inputs and then interact with your metamask yeah and you can select what network and i, I deployed a, a test token to the to the i think it was the ropstein network um and yeah so i'm i'm uh, the only reason i'm hesitant now is just want to like i guess understand the differences we can kind of i guess walk through so what what are the what are the special functionalities of the moon or bus token that um that make it unique i guess versus like a standard erc20 token that has like a limited supply uh that you can i guess can, can you go can you go into the details of, of like what is like a, what is how is it different from like any of these other like standard erc20 tokens or what is what is it most similar to okay so this one is um the best way to describe it. it's a, it's very similar to safe moon um, mm -hmm. because that has now become one of the standards for it's, it's trending and it's one of the hottest tokens to pump out because they may, they may not have been the first people to do this, but they're the first ones to kind of make it big. Mm -hmm. And, um, what their structure is, they have, um, a percentage that gets taxed from each transaction you do. And it's about 10%, but it can be up to 15 or 20, depending on time in the network. But they have a uh, tax fee, a burn fee, and a charity fee, or a <clears throat> sorry, or kind of like a charity fee. And so the tax fee, um, the burn fee, it goes to the liquidity on Pancake Swap or other places, and it gets mm -hmm. locked there. And then the other part goes part back to the dev team, and then another part goes to um, a separate wallet for marketing and charity, if you will. That's what a lot of charity coins are. Um, this one has the same thing. This is pretty much a fork of um, just a um, deflationary token. And you just kind of add your own um, metrics into it. So, I, you know, I added the supply I wanted. Mm -hmm. I uh, put the name, <clears throat> the decimal number, and the um, fee structure onto it. And this way it'll get good. I, I forgot to mention that part of the tax fee, part of that, fee is where it gets distrib redistributed back to the holders. And so if a wallet has this token in it and it's interacted with the smart contract in any way, it will get tokens back. Um, mm -hmm. It'll get part of the part of that fee that's been taken from someone else selling or moving it. So that's, that's a very um, quote unquote yeah. unique. It's, it's very regular now in the yeah. mm -hmm. DeFi mm -hmm. tokens on the Binance smart chain. But it is pretty unique on how they, um, how that came about and that whole idea behind it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely changed the dynamics of the DeFi tokens, and quite clearly, mooned. I don't know where it's at now, but <laughs> it's up like one hundred thirty-five thousand percent or million percent. I mean, it's up ridiculous amount from when it launched, but it's still, you know, not even close to a penny. But yeah. You know. Yeah, that, that doesn't necessarily mean anything, I guess, depending on when you bought it. <laughs> yeah. True. Um, yeah. So I guess I'm. Um, so I'm definitely. So we're we've been talking for a while here uh, a bit, saying uh, trying to figure out exactly, you know, how we want to launch our our, our Zing reward token, um, and I think we need to figure. We'll figure out exactly the details of 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 how the smart contract functions. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll 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 be exploring that. I think I have a pretty good idea in terms of. The initial supply that we should have um and 
like the functionality in terms of being able to mint and burn the token. Um, but we're gonna f we're gonna f work to figure out exactly how how what are the functionalities of this and and figure it out here hopefully soon and, and, and get this built. Um, so yeah, so can you I guess can you show me a little bit of of the remix um, IDE and how and how you're able because you because you compiled this with the uh, Open Zeppelin right Th this this contract. <laughs> No, I, not this one, no. And this okay. is actually um, a token that I'm creating outside of Benzinga, this one that's showing right here. Um, I can, let me see if I can go, I can maybe go back to the other one. There we go. <clears throat> so this is the, okay, well, that's not it. I'll just go back to the other one because they're very, very similar. Okay. So do you, so for the for the Mooner bus token, you didn't did you use Open Zeppelin for that or no? No, I didn't. Okay. I, I I learned about. Um, oh well, here's a good example of uh, Open Zeppelin importing Open Zeppelin, mm -hmm. actually. So this is um, one thing I did try, and um, I didn't. I I went a different route. But um, that was that's how you would import Open Zeppelin, which is a smart contract library, and it's all open source. And you just import; it's like Lego blocks. You import these right. um, parts in, you know, whenever you need them for different um, reasons. Mm -hmm. So this one's just a basic ERC twenty token, but you can also import the ERC one seven seven. I think I, I don't remember the, exactly the name of that one but that would be where it's fungible and you can do a whole bunch of different things with it i'm not going to spend my time trying to find it right now but um that would be we'll just go to the one i i had if i can find it i'm sorry no you're good So open open Zeppelin's pretty is that pretty popular in terms of of the use? Yeah, among, like, a common... whole whole lot of really big name um, tokens use it. Like the like top like top fifty tokens. You'd use oh it? yeah, easy. Uh huh. <clears throat> this might not be the one I was looking for either, but it's okay. They're they're all pretty much the same. But what what I really what I did was I uh, spent a lot of time on GitHub and I spent a lot of time going through um, different token contracts because nine times out of ten there's going to be a very rare instance where a, a cryptocurrency is closed source so it's not available the source code is not available to everyone mm -hmm. and it just took me a while to um, you know go through them all see what made them different see how they tick see how they work and why people use different versions of solidity or why they use this function and how <clears throat> and how they um interacted with uh with the token holders all that kind of stuff and i kind of learned that the deflationary token this one um is pretty much widely used by almost all these DeFi tokens this contract is very similar to safe moon and it's very similar to hodge very similar to Shiba, all these different um, really huge like low cap tokens are very, very similar. And you'd be surprised at how many tokens are actually super similar to Bitcoin. And well, you wouldn't be surprised, but it, it's pretty much the same thing. These, these are all pretty much forks of each other with little mm -hmm. added spice to each one to make them a little different. And yeah. that's what's kind of neat and how the cryptocurrency world works and i didn't realize how easy it was to actually develop and launch something like this yourself it just takes the oh, yeah. the skilled for marketing and all that a little, you know, little all persistence that. too you gotta yeah. like actually work through it it's not like plug in. it's not <clears throat> well it is kind of plug and play like the one the one i found this the, that you actually have to pay that was a really smart move by the guy who who created the platform or created a website mm -hmm. that basically allows you to create a smart contract with uh without writing any contracts he just has yeah. the contracts and you create it straight from metamask that's a very interesting thing and and you know we'll see we'll see how that 
I'd be very curious how many tokens have launched for that and been and, and how, how successful. That's what I was been. thinking too, because it's it, it's a money trap, really. I mean, it's a money tree for this guy, because oh, yeah. at first I didn't want to have to learn and do all this stuff, and I was about to pay, you know, a couple B and B to launch my token that way. But I was like, there has to be a simpler way. Like it has to be a, a way that it doesn't cost one B and B. At first, I thought that's how much it cost to deploy it. But it, it costs like for the Binance Smart Chain, I think it costs 0 0.03 um, BNB to deploy a a token, and a 0 0.004 to deploy a smart contract. But that's like eleven eleven dollars, maybe maybe twenty dollars. So it's it's yeah. not very much at all. Instead of five hundred to six hundred bucks. Um, so did you have much? Yeah, that's, a, that's definitely a lot better deal. So did you have much uh, complication like compiling it? I mean, I think the the remix is remix, right? The yeah, the ID the ID, which is like the solidity uh, mm -hmm. contract compiler. And so, did, did you have much trouble like actually compiling these? I did at first contracts? until like I I watched you know I I went online I watched a bunch of YouTube videos and just figured out how it all worked. This mm -hmm. part really confused me. So you have to have uh, whatever. You know, say you uh, fork something off GitHub and you didn't write the full thing yourself, like straight code it from the beginning. Mm -hmm. You have to match this one to the compiler version. And uh, there's, okay, yeah. uh, you know, yeah. a ton. That's programming for you. Yeah. <laughs> so these little things, they're like, oh, shit. Because if, like, if you don't, it. if you do like this one and try to compile it, it'll throw an error. Whenever so it's I think done. I actually deployed, I did, I, I was using this to, to on the, okay, on the, the ROP Steam or uh -huh. maybe I forget the other network. Let's see. We have there's the yeah, it was the ROP Steam a test network I was doing it on, and so I I did compile one contract with 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 this, and then I couldn't. Like there was like a validation step on yeah. Ether Scan to like prove that <coughs> you own it. Okay, I, something yeah. I'm not. Did you go through that? that? Yeah, I did do that. Okay, so here's the um. Moon or bus token. I think I might have done it with the yeah, I did with the DeFi token. So the one I was showing you earlier, this is a this is a separate one. Okay, it's right here. So that's how I was showing you this contract. So this is the Moon or bus DeFi token, which is the one we're probably gonna use that I should use all those features. It hasn't been moved anywhere, it hasn't been deployed, it's still in its own separate wallet. And we will, you know, we will separate it out and make sure that it's all good to go when we're ready to launch it if we do launch it xyz but you go to the contract and then you, that little check mark means it's been um the code base has been verified so mm -hmm. the the code is um a little bit uh different than i mean it's, it's a lot it's very similar to um multiple other contracts Mm -hmm. So it was easy to match it up. And all, you have to go through a few steps. You got to type in the source code or you got to copy in the source code. You got to copy in the AB, ABI file. And you have to um, make sure that you are doing this all through the wallet that created the contract. And then right. it will be um, verified. But it's, it's very simple to do. Yeah, just same, yeah, same thing. You just got a few steps you got to walk through and realize. Cool. Yeah, this is awesome. So yeah, I, I think we're, I don't know if we're going to necessarily launch our token today. I think there's probably a few more things we've got to look into um, before we launch the Zing reward token. Um, but yeah, I, I, this is all good stuff. I think we can probably, uh, you know, build this here pretty soon. Um, the Zing token, and we already built the, the Moon or Bus token, and we're going to, you know, here at Benzinga, we like to build and experiment and, uh, you know, uh, try to make stuff happen. And I think that's, you know, Brian here is making stuff happen with our Moon or Bust token. Um, you guys should definitely check out the Moon or Bust uh, show here at Benzinga. I think the next one airs well, Memorial Day. We had a weird, weird next week. I'm not sure when. Uh, we might have when... one tomorrow. I don't I don't know okay. if that's confirmed. I got to talk with Spencer to see if that is confirmed. We might have one tomorrow. Okay. But I, he... I was going to say Ether Scan is exactly like Binance uh, BCS Scan. And mm -hmm. they're going to work the exact same way. So it'll be the same steps that I took, which is very simple. You're saying for the ERC-20 token? Yeah, yeah. How I verified the contract and everything you just mm -hmm. asked, it'll be the same steps. It's pretty straight. It's, it's pretty easy to explain and do. 
Okay, cool. Yeah, we're definitely going to be doing that, um, and we'll 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 work towards that. We'll see see when we can get that done. Probably not today, but um, we're definitely going to get that done and, and launch this thing token here soon. So, um, yeah, thanks for all that information, Brian. Um, I do have um, some things I'd like to share with our audience. I mean, this is honestly, this is an interesting, interesting, potentially really interesting project that we're launching here. We're going to uh, launch a reward token to uh, engage our audience and reward our audience for participating in in our ecosystem. And we have a pretty strong, uh, is, you know, those of you who, who've seen many of our shows, we're, we're building Zinger Nation. Um, if you're here now, you know, you're a part of this. Uh, you know, we, we are very grateful for our audience and everyone who, who uses our products and we work hard to build and make the best products so you can, you know, stay, stay ahead and get ahead in the markets. Um, and if you're a builder, uh, definitely uh, apply at cooljobs at benzinga.com. Uh, we're looking for people who not just talk, but also build and make things happen. And there's a lot of opportunity here at Benzinga for people who want to do that, uh, to, to do that. Um, and, you know, definitely hit us up. Um, so I would like to share, so I'll share a little bit of details about where we're at with our, with our, with our Zing token at the moment. Um, so let me get this, I just not used to running this stuff. Okay, there we go. So for everyone here, you can go to uh, benzinga.com slash zing and enter your email to claim your zing. So we haven't actually launched the ERC20 token contract yet. And so this is going to be a centralized mechanism of us uh, keeping track of, of who can uh, claim what zing when we launch this, when we launch this token. Um, for those of you who sign up and enter your email uh, and join Zinger Nation with your email, uh, the pre-launch reward is uh, 10,000 Zing. Uh, we, we're launched with the initial supply of a billion Zing. And do this now. We're, we're not sure exactly when we're going to launch this contract. Maybe it'll be a week from now. Maybe it'll be tomorrow. Um, but we're, we're working uh, to, to figure out the details to make sure we do it right. I think there's some security things that we want to make sure. Like this is, we don't want people you know, being able to get control of our contract and, 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 and do malicious things. So we're going to do it right. Um, and if you are slow to the game and you, and you join uh, Zinger Nation with your email after our launch, you'll earn still a thousand Zing, uh, 10 times less than, than the people who joined before. So definitely join now. Um, there's also a referral program uh, for when you, um, when you enter your email, you will get a email and a referral ID and you know uh, you can share that with your friends and earn extra zing um, so definitely do this now uh, we'll see when we launch this and, and stay posted check back um, and invite your friends and again if you're if you are uh, a builder contact us cool jobs at benzinga.com and we have this potential zinger builder reward where depending on what it is we don't not sure exactly how we're gonna launch this yet um, but you know, there's there's potentially big rewards for people who can come here and build really interesting things. Uh, if you haven't seen it, we have. If you haven't heard of it yet, we have Benzinga Pro, which is a uh, a retail trading product that has real time news that our team works hard every day covering and the markets, trying to figure out get you ahead. Uh, you know, get retail investors ahead of the market and 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 seek and gain on opportunities uh, through our platform. So, uh, with that. Um, yeah. Uh, so, do you have any thoughts on where we're at right now with uh, with Zing Token, Brian? Um, no, I mean, I think we're on we're on pace. I think we're on. Um, I think we're doing everything the correct way. I think that this is, it's a good good method, and I think that longevity of this coin looks pretty um, pretty good, in my opinion. Yep. Yeah, so we're gonna yeah we're we're gonna make this a, a fun thing to participate in and uh, and engage our audience and so we'd love to have you guys as a part of our, our Zinger Nation. So please enter your email. Go to benzinga.com/zing. Enter your email and join the pre-launch reward um, to have your have your claim when we launch our token. Um, and look out for that. It will once you enter your email, we'll we'll keep you updated um, and tell your friends we're gonna we're gonna launch this thing here and. See how it goes. Continue to build. We have a number of other products that we're building. This this show 
this is, seems like just an easy opportunity for, um, you should get an email, NCAL, you should get an email relatively quickly. Um, if you don't, check to make sure you enter the right email. Um, if not, um, you can reach out to john at bendita.com and we can debug this stuff. So these, this is something I actually kind of finished today, <laughs> like an hour ago. I've um, been working on it for like here and there a little bit and just finished out a, the reward program of it and sending the actual email today. Um, so if there's an issue, you know, I'm sorry about that, but we'll get it taken care of. Email me at john at benzinga.com and you will get your opportunity to uh, to claim your reward. Do, um, does the email get sent right away? And, okay, someone just said that it went, it. Uh, did it twice and went through the second time. Okay, so good. yeah, I guess it should. Okay, yeah. So that was interesting. We'll, we'll, we'll debug that. I don't know if anyone else has... Uh, has any issues we'll, we'll, we'll definitely debug that and uh do some more testing but yeah this is something that we're <laughs> we're building here we're build, building here guys so uh and again if you are interested in if you if you if you know somebody too it's not just like you if you know anybody we have a, a a referral reward for for zingers that uh that join us um and, and become builders um there's a reward for people who, who refer those people. So if you know somebody, we need a lot of different developers. We need React developers, Go developers, uh, WordPress developers, people who are interested in the financial markets, crypto, um, all different types of people who are, are really interested in building. Uh, that's what we do here uh, and take charge and, 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 and get stuff done um, and not just talk about it. I definitely like to talk. There are people here who <laughs> know that. Um, but we're also, you know, we're also here building, and so we're going to continue to do it. We got a number of products that will, that will demo uh, on future episodes of this of this show. Um, it's an honor to be the host for this first episode. We have many zingers. Brian's Brian's one of the first, uh, his first, you know, builder on this platform. It's really great to talk to you about the, you know, the the Mooner Bus token, and learn a little bit more about how you built it. And you know we'll we'll continue to experiment and see where it goes. Um, I look forward to uh, you know to to where this goes. I mean it'll be really exciting to see. If you haven't checked it out, Winter Bust, we'll we'll see if it goes on tomorrow. If you enter email, if you enter your email into this, we'll keep you up to date um, with different things going on at Benzinga. And that's it. I mean I don't yeah. think if does anyone have any questions in the chat, um, any thoughts, any ideas, and how. Um, they would like to see the Benzinga token used. We have a lot of different, um, we have a lot of different, uh, so here's like a, here's a map of what we could potentially, how we could potentially launch this, uh, very, the tokenomics people call it, of how we can potentially release our Zing and give it to, give it to hopefully hundreds of thousands, millions of people so they can participate in our reward token uh, and earn different things, you know, participate in subscription products, get discounts on subscription products, um, get rewards for being a member of our subscription product, uh, products, um, potentially special deals with people. We're, we'll, we're going to figure out exactly how we're going to use this token. Um, and we're definitely here to build it together with people. So if you have any ideas, anything you want to build, let us know. Um, if there's no one in the chat that has anything, so it looks like we have entered twice, so I'll definitely be working to debug <coughs> that. Um, thanks, NCAL, for letting us know. Um, yeah. You got anything else, Brian, you want to bring up? Um, yeah, well, first, uh, <clears throat> we're going to have to have you on the Moon or Bus show soon, ASAP, mm -hmm. that's for sure. But if you haven't, check out Moon or Bust on, right now, it's Mondays and Wednesdays at 2 p.m. Um, we, are, I think we're adding a Friday show at 4, but we're going to, uh, be doing a lot more interviews and having people on. We just had our last interview, our first interview last episode, and it went really well. Um, we're going to have more and more of that. And we'll have John on because he's one of the big crypto guys here too. Yeah, and just check that. We'll, we'll tell you more about the the Moon or Bus DeFi coin and show you how you can get it and use it. And you can do the same thing with the Zinger Nation. It's not going to be as pertinent to Benzinga, the Zinger, as Zing coin is. But both of them, you know, keep them in mind and uh, we'll see what it goes. We're, we're doing kind of the Moon or Bus token as the launch pad for this one to see how what what not to do with Zinger <laughs> going to do it right so you know we'll 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 just learn as we go you know yep that's how that's how you build it mm -hmm. takes uh takes fortitude that's right and, uh brian definitely has it with this it was uh, it was very great to see him 
launch this token and yeah we're gonna we're gonna do some interesting stuff here well uh thanks for coming on the show brian yeah uh, we're definitely so we're gonna probably off air figure out a few more details uh we'll you know i, I think we're looking to actually launch this on air we'll figure out how we do that um but yeah like <laughs> we got bird over here chief chief builder he has <laughs> he's got he's got the knowledge this guy bert if you haven't seen him you should check out our quarterly one our, 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 our oh, value yeah. no what is it have you seen our have you seen our uh not our quarterly one our our, our zinger awards our zinger uh -huh. awards it was our q4 dancing like a <laughs> yeah that was that was the most entertaining thing i think i've ever that was seen a good one. I, everyone was laughing stone cold sober hard. too just <laughs> yeah just had that energy he lets it out once a year we we love our fans uh we I and mean, that's why we're here working hard working late every day that's why we build late here at benzinga there's still probably 10 people out here in the office you know working away building for you guys um, we look forward to continuing that um, and we look forward to finding more zingers out there, you know, who likes to join us um, and yeah, pr and participate like participate. This is this reward program is meant for people to participate like we're there's a lot of engaging features that we're going to look to launch. Um, and also, I mean, I think the big thing about this, too, is education. Like it's a very confusing cryptocurrency can be a very confusing space. Uh, there's a yeah. lot of uh, a lot of a lot of words passed out there like a lot of things that don't make sense like you know shiba anu goes up thirty two thousand percent <laughs> in a month and it's it's i don't know like i i get it and i don't get it it's social phenomenons with like viral virality to it that is just happens to be in a form of some monetary value that if you're lucky to be one of the people in first you get some sort of return for it if you get out before it busts <laughs> so it's nuts we're here we're not here to we're not here to, to to moon or bust we're here to educate and uh bring uh you know bring a, a value to our audience through um that education and, and reward people for participating in our products and building our products and uh yeah just participating in our network so thanks again brian um i look forward mm -hmm. to having more uh more conversations with you and launching our erc20 smart contract, uh, the Zing token, uh, re utility reward token on the Ethereum network. And I think the there's a lot token. of, yes, this is, th and this, there's a lot of very interesting things I think we can do and we'll all, things that we don't know yet that we're gonna find that are gonna be very mm -hmm. fun to build and uh, we look forward to doing it. So uh, once again, thanks Brian for being on the show. Yeah. Um, well, let's definitely do this again and stick around we're gonna do uh or come back uh to the show we'll see when we do it next there's no plan yet this is, again is the first episode um and we will be hosting more builders here at benzinga we got a whole host of builders all over the world building something and uh we got a lot of things that we can display uh and present to to our audience and we look forward to engaging with you while we build it all right, Very Brian. Uh, I don't know, Spencer, you're still there. I think I could just end this stream. Um, it was, again, an honor. And let's uh, let's keep building. Yeah. It's not even late yet. I'm, I'm not done. I'm going I'm gonna <laughs> to maybe take a, like a little, I got a coffee here that's still full. So right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drink some coffee. I'm going to figure out where we go next with this. Maybe do a little bit of more research based on, based on, uh, based on our conversation today. Yeah. And we're going to build it. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Like you said, we'll, we'll <laughs> learn as we go. And it, that's, that's the best thing about cryptocurrency. It, it's all new to everyone. It's, it's only a couple years old. Like, yeah. I mean, 2012 to whatever, you know, I mean, it's, it's a new space and it's a wild west and anyone can make anything of themselves in this space. And you just, it's just put your nose to the, the grindstone and just learn it. I bet you <clears throat> at least somebody who watches this, is be going to become successful and rich off coming up with the next best idea because they just studied and learned it. So it's it's a really really cool time to be here, you know. Yeah, yeah, we're definitely we're we're just scratching the surface, I think, on 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 what's happening here with these with these smart contracts and networks. Mm -hmm. All right, Brian. Thanks again. Thanks everyone for joining. Uh, you can reach out to me personally, John at Benzinga.com. Or follow me at Johnny G one seventy, uh, and then you can follow Brian at more. Is it more Brian? I got a little cut off here. I'm like, yeah, yeah. M O I R B R I A N on Twitter. Awesome. Well, Brian, have a good night. 
Uh, don't work too late. <laughs> oh, I'm, yeah, I'm done after this. <laughs> All right, man. Good stuff. Take yeah. care. Bye, guys.